Hello everyone, it is Blue Car Arigo, and today we are at war with Gang Peak Hill. As far as my opinion goes, I'd say this gang is quite aggressive. So, currently we're at war with them. Considering the fact this is a post recording, I know exactly how long this war is, and get ready guys, because this war is quite a long time. Now concerning the last video which had my voice recording, I was just uh, checking up on my own video, because I wanted to see if there were any errors in terms of uploading, and I noticed that my voice was very, very low, so I'm going to try to do some more editing with the sounds to make sure that my voice can be heard a bit clearer rather than before where it's a lot more of a struggle and you probably need headphones to hear me. Alright, so if you like my, my commentary, I am sorry, but I'm going to try my best not to speak that much because I want to have as much sound as possible considering the fact that this is a war. Right, that, that also reminds me of another thing. In this video, and some of the thereafter videos, 
you will find me doing a lot of pretty impressive things with the flag. I was actually extremely happy at the fact that I managed to record such moments of brilliance, I'd like to say. And you know I'm sounding like a complete arrogant fool. But, I will agree, some stuff that I did here in these videos, and uh, the videos coming up afterwards, were uh, pretty well done. It's kind of just one of those quick reflexes things, which I'm glad it happened. Oh, right. You may have noticed that uh, guy with the ko koala bear head thing had a, a, a weapon that shooted uh, flames. Apparently, as far as I saw, you may even end up seeing in the video, it's an auction gun that apparently can shoot bullets and flames. I think it deals about 9 damage, and I think it's stacked, too. Uh, the stack thing I'm really not too sure about, but... For the most part, what I do know is that the fire rate, the fire type can be switched. And I believe it deals about 9 damage, and it's an auction gun. Alright, this... Everything in this next part came out horribly. Maybe notice I'm the only one on the left side, and they just decided to just maul the flag like that. So that went out horribly, but we come back stronger than before. Oh, uh, as a part of a mentionable song, I come back harder than before. You probably, you guys probably don't even know the song. Nor do I. I just remember the, that one uh, specific part of the lyrics, but I have absolutely no idea what the name of the song is. Alright, you see this strategy that they're doing? This is a strategy that uh, Grella or Terror Squad used to do. Now, admittedly, this strategy can be very easily counterattacked, and as you're going to see, some I Freeze members are about to perform the counterattack. It's very easy to counterattack this strategy. It's a good way to hold them off, but you see, they're now they're throwing petrols. That's the way you're going to counterattack them. By simply doing that, they should eliminate at least about two of the enemies that are spamming. The ones that remain at the highest, at the highest point, more towards when the vending machines are, uh, that that will be, um, they won't really be too affected by that. But still, though, getting access to the bottom is key when in every fight. I may have noticed that sometimes I get hit by a bullet, but I don't take damage. But that's because the Blazing Bandit Zone has this very annoying tendency that you'll have a, a, a form of like, like, like... Kind of like a respawn shield. So for like, I'd say, if I were to take a guess, for the first for like 5 seconds you enter to BBZ, you're invincible to any bullet. And you can't deal any, you can't deal damage or take damage for at least about... I'd say, 3 seconds maybe. I don't know why Blazing Bandit Zone. Is the only base that has that. I'm not sure if that's even intentional or not. I'm not sure they're going to even plan to fix that. If it is some form of glitch, which it probably isn't. They probably had it for some legit reason. I just can't think of it right now. I'm too brain dead to think about things like that. Alright, so at this part, it seems like I've managed to gain access to the flag room as well as someone else. And Phoenix managed to gain access. I don't have. I have no idea who's the. Uh, the other guy. Detox, that's what it was. Alright. So at this point, you can see we're making a pretty good effort. Oh yeah, and also, um, that ice wizard guy also. Was also included, but, uh... Yeah, he accidentally took it for the wrong gang. I'm not sure if we get it back or not. I think we do. Yeah, I, th I think we get it back. I'm not. I'm not 100 sure. Yeah. Yes. That gun. What? That gun wasn't stacked. Uh, in fact, stacked. So that gun that you see, that shoots the flames. Yes. That gun is in fact a stacked gun. As I just saw in the video, I, I lost like 18 hit points from one shot, which apparently was right next to me. Oh, 
DIY nearly got the jump on me. <laughs> I was a bit late on that, but hey, it's true. <laughs> Alright, so one can easily conclude that, yes, defending a base is simply just far more easier than attacking. Unless your odds are in your favor. However, the reason that this is is primarily because of the fact that, if you really think about it, if you're attacking a base, you have to go through the bystanders, the... you have to go through the first couple of uh, rooms first, you have to get ready, and then you have to construct a plan in order to counterattack whatever form of defensive strategy that your enemy has. So you can imagine that's that's awfully difficult. Especially how when defenders are just already right there in their defensive positions. So like, if I were attacking right now, you can see how challenging this is, because there's so much going on. Including the fact that you also had your other defenders down here as well. As you can see, we're clearly holding the base, but P kill still puts up a pretty damn good fight. And it's just one of these moments where I absolutely love basing like this, because of the fact that it's like... It's like two gangs on a scale of levels have like, basically like met their match. And I kind of like when events like this come up. All the gangs put up their best effort to see who has the greater muscle. Oh nice, 17 bailouts. I am just so proud for holding off this asshole gang. Oh, that uh, 49 is not perfect. You asshole, you ruined the. Oh, you. Awesome. I went from a perfect 50 to a 44. Nice job, piece of twat shite. Uh, yep, see, it's still on 49. What the hell? Everything has to be perfect. That's so aggravating. Apparently the name the name of that flame gun was a WH what was it, twenty four or something like that? Sixty <laughs> four? I don't Uh, that was intentional, I think. <laughs> I just recorded it yesterday, I'm not even sure. Oh, crap. That's what I get for going suicidal. Well done, Gomps. Oh my god. Look at the spam on this. <laughs> Alright, so you may have already noticed as well that Peak Hill goes immediately back to their same strategy. The reason why they do this, I have absolutely no clue why. I mean, if they if they saw the, how we managed to counterattack that, why would they attempt to do it again? Now, this is probably one of the few reasons why I would theorize would brought them to their demise. Because in the end, yes, we do manage to hold the base fair and square. Can I say friends? Yeah, what's happened? <laughs> yes, in the end, we do manage to hold the base. Oh, that's a nice status. <laughs> oh, 
hello. Who has the base? Obsidian. Now, I actually have no clue how Obsidian managed to get behind the defenses. The doors, if I were to concur about something, I'd say... Well, not concur, conclude about something. I'd say that one of them managed to rush the um, rush inside right before the door was about to close. So that would have been an excellent opportunity for him to uh, get some cheap shots. Alright, and this will mark the f end of the first part of the PK war, where we now take full possession of Bebe Zay once again. Right then, here we are, the next wave. Splendid first one, Phasma generally demands you claim your embers. Shut up, Honorbound. You know, back in my day, when push notifications came up, they blocked up your entire screen and it was just so infuriating, especially when you were in the middle of fighting someone, and they managed to beat you because of such. What's even worse is 20% battery. Just because the fact that, well, 20% battery is just simply inevitable. Unless you keep your device charged all day, but who the hell would do that? Unless you really, really need to keep your device charged. Farewell. Ah, yes, here we are, part two. Should have noticed there's a cut? Yeah, that was the reason why, because this is now part two. So, here we are. And they're back to doing the same exact strategy. Ah. Uh, you know. But here we are. <laughs> they performed the strategy so much, I think I'm going to put it to my hotkeys now. <laughs> there we are. Nice, hot, and ready. <laughs> Get it? Hot. Literally? You guys don't get it? No? Oh, come on, it wasn't that hard to figure out. Alright, I have no idea why that player decided to walk right up to me. Uh, I think he had the intention to rape me up the bot, but I'm not going to be too sure about that. In fact, he's actually still standing there. <laughs> What's he doing? This is weird. One second, guys. Alright. Sorry about the uh, small cut. While I was uh, voice recording, for some reason the video started to slow down, so my voice would have went out of sync. So good thing I... Uh, Stop the narration from there. So, here we are, we've now reclaimed the BBZ base. Let's see, I'm in quite a lot of trouble here, so I had to <laughs> force to flee. says that a good muscle this what am I saying I don't know <laughs> I don't know I was start I was talking about muscles all of a sudden and you know what is it's just forget it now I'm going off topic but I digress you've killed unknown was that the possible butt rapist I think it was hold on Sorry. Da. 
Oh, we got so close to getting to the base. <laughs> Drizzy killed 50 people in a row. Good job. Why do they even acknowledge that? And I hate you, telephone. But that's quite alright. I think someone else will pick it up. <laughs> I hope. Okay, what do you know? I was right. Someone else picked it up. <laughs> that works for me. As long as I don't have to get up, I'm fine with that. I mean, it's not like I'm not really exactly playing real. I'm, I'm essentially watching my own video. I don't have to be a lethargic piece of twatting shite and just get up. Although I could. Whoops. Hey, hey! We got baby Zay. Let's see how long it is before they manage to take it back, actually. Because, like I said, they still manage to put up quite a fight. I think this time they're uh, improvising and put up proximity mines. It still doesn't really work too well, but it works sometimes. You see, the proximity mines killed off her, so I guess, in conclusion, it does work. Alright, so it seems to me, according to my uh, storyboard that I have in my video editor, it seems like we're almost done here, but I don't quite think Peak Kill gives up just yet. They might have one. Uh, after this whole war thing, they might have a, a little bit more of a, just a small onslaught, which is a couple of people. They're not really that too much. I mean, you know, after every war, there's always at least like one person who wants to stay, kind of, you know, just get a little more rough and just a little more some kills. Why not? Wait, whoa, I never actually noticed that. <laughs> that guy who killed with an AK-47 was in peak hell. You got to be absolutely kidding me, they actually recruited him. Okay, I'm sorry. I I'm not going to, uh, <coughs> uh, harass your requirements or your expectations or whatever. But if you're going to recruit someone with an AK-47, that's just sad. Seriously. <laughs> You're gonna recruit someone with an AK, really. But holy crap, I never actually noticed he was a part of Peak Hill. Now I'm actually quite disappointed in them. <laughs> Pfft. 
I'm telling you guys, proximity mines work. <laughs> proximity mines are like the New York lottery. Yeah, you never know. Nope, there we are again. Another occurrence with the proximity mine. <laughs> 